a boat can go 10 miles upstream in 30 minutes. The return trip downstream takes only 20 minutes. What is the speed of the boat in still water and the speed of the current in miles per hour? When a boat is going upstream, it moves directly against the water. Its speed in still water would be decreased by the current. The opposite is true. When a boat is going downstream, it moves directly with the water. Its speed in still water would be increased by the current. The question at the end of the problem asked for the speed of the boat and the speed of the current. So let B be the speed of the boat in still water or relative to the water in miles per hour and C be the speed of the current. Then create a distance, rate, and time chart like the ones you see here. D, R, and T on top and the subjects in front. I choose upstream for the top row and downstream for the bottom row. We should fill in immediately what we know. It says the boat can go 10 miles upstream, so the return trip downstream must be the same. Let's fill in the distance for both boxes. And for the times, they have to be in hours or fractions of an hour. We can never use minutes with miles per hour. It takes the boat 30 minutes to move upstream. Divide the number of minutes by 60. The quotient is the number of hours. Reduce by dividing the top and the bottom by the greatest common factor, or the GCF. The quotient is one half, or one half of an hour upstream. It takes the boat 20 minutes to move downstream. Divide the number of minutes by 60. Reduce by dividing the top and the bottom by the GCF. We get one third or one third of an hour. We need to take note of the rates of the object in motion. A boat going upstream, its speed is decreased because it moves against the current. The total speed is B minus C, or the speed of the current is subtracted from the speed of the boat. A boat going downstream, its speed is increased because it moves with the current. And the total speed is B plus C, or the speed of the current is added to the speed of the boat. Now, let's focus on B minus C. The speed of the boat must be faster than the speed of the current for it to move forward at all. That is, B must be greater than C. If not, we get a negative value and the current overtakes the boat and pushing it back, like in a storm. begin to solve the problem. In a uniform motion problem, we use the equation distance equals rate times time. Since we have two unknowns, B and C, we need two equations using the chart and plug in D, R, and T. 10 equals the product of B minus C and 1 half the upstream equation. And 10 equals the product of B plus C and 1 third the downstream equation. The two form a system of equations or a simultaneous set of equations. And by using community property of multiplication and symmetric property, we write to get near the standard form. Or you can just switch the sides and move the fractions in front and then solve. Then multiply both sides by the reciprocals to get rid of the fractions. Now we're going to see both the method of elimination and substitution. First, elimination. Now we have the standard form from the above, which is B minus C equals 20, and B plus C equals 30. By adding two equations, we eliminate C, and we are left with 2B equals 50. And divide both sides by 2, we have B equals 25. That is the speed of the boat, 25 miles per hour in still water. And by back substituting into B plus C equals 30, we can solve for C, the speed of the current. By doing so, we have 25 plus C equals 30. Subtract both sides by 25. C is left with 5, or the speed of the current, 5 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the substitution method. We ought to have the standard form. Since we have it, I'm going to recopy it and then we start. First, solve for one variable in terms of another. I choose B and it doesn't matter which equation. And B equals C plus 20. Then plug in the second equation with that. 
we have C plus 20 plus C equals 30. Combine like terms or similar terms, we have 2C plus 20 equals 30. Solve for C, subtract both sides by 20, left us with 2C equals 10. Divide both sides by 2, and C equals 5. Now, back substitute into B plus C equals 30. So, B plus 5 equals 30. Solve for B, subtract both sides by 5, we get B equals 25. 